Good morning. This is a short documentary. It's going to capture some of the huh, mishaps on Van Sicklin and Glenmore Avenues. Just going to try to bring this down. We have a series of cars that are being sold on the block. Here's one. And they'll be driven onto the block, parked in a space, and left for days, weeks, months even. And they come with these unusually colorful out-of-state plates. The only issue that we have is that when we come home from work as residents, tax-paying citizens, we can't find a place to park. These cars don't honor the alternate side parking rules. Do they get a ticket? Hmm. One would wonder. Because if you get a ticket, would you stay there? Of course not. So, example number one. Here's our scenario. We have a black Mercedes SUV. This car has been here since yesterday, lunchtime. It is now Sunday, January. God, what day is it? 28th. And then we have a Nissan Xterra. Notice, no place in the front. Now, when my ex-husband got that um, notice while he was driving, he got a ticket because they said you have to have plates in the front and plates in the back. And so clearly it's not marked here. Hi, Diana. That's our community cat, Diana. Oh, she's such a ham. She wants to be in the footage. So here... They're telling you the car's for sale. There's a telephone number. And way up close, way up close, you just see a date, but you could barely see the license information. Oh my God, if I did that, where would my car be? In the pound. In the pound. And it goes on. This is the entire neighborhood. But the only problem, the only issue I have is because we have a parking ruling. So the arrow is showing From this point, from this point north, Tuesday and Friday, no parking, 9 to 10.30. Oh my gosh, she's so silly. Look at this. She's showing off. Oh my God. And then the ruling here in front of, let me turn it this way, if I can make it a little bigger, Eastern Baptist Church. They have their services Sunday, Monday, and Wednesday. The ruling says, I'm going to bring it really close. We're just going to follow along, along, along. Keep going, keep going. The ruling says, oh, what does it say? Read with me. No parking anytime. And there's that arrow again. Where's the arrow pointing? Where? Oh, follow me, follow me. Oh, she's following me too. Diana, where's it pointing? She's showing you the sign. She's saying that's the pole. And oh, it's pointing to the Nissan and the bins. Oh, how interesting. Will they get a ticket? Doubtful. Will they be able to stay here all week? Probably. Can I do that? No. What will happen if I did this? I would get a ticket, I'd wake up in the morning, my car would have a ticket on the front, and I'd be like, oh my God, I have to go to work and figure out how am I gonna pay for this? I come home, I look down the block, no spaces, because there are, now we're gonna do some simple math. One, Two 
And this is the decoy car. This car is also for sale across the street. Three. And we observe, as residents of the 270, they take turns. They switch the plates from this car to this car. And then they'll take the plates off that car to that car. And they go back and forth and back and forth. And all the while, nothing changes. Nothing changes. So the purpose of my video is to show you. You can park on Van Sicklin without license plates, without inspection stickers, and you get no penalties. You can stay on the block with your car, with out-of-state plates, and not move your car for days, for weeks even. Only on Van Sicklin, between <laughs> Glenmore and Pickin Avenues. Gotta go on vacation, can't find a garage, can't afford parking? Come to Van Sicklin between Pickin and Glenmore. Where do you drop off an illegally <laughs> positioned vehicle that should not be where it says no parking anytime in front of a well-known, very active church and the sign clearly says no parking anytime, but you can leave your car there and come back next week on Van Sicklin between Pickin and Glenmore. And Diane is back. She wants her, she's showing you her profile. Thank you, Diana. Oh God, put your legs down. You're a lady. She's so fresh. Okay, so folks, I stand completely feeling compromised because I know the residents on this block who have to walk, including myself, sometimes six blocks, which I have no problem doing, but I don't think that we should. When clearly a sign says no parking anytime, it's not valet parking. The car service on the corner, 510 car service, they have the courtesy enough if we come home from work at, and we're members of the 270 family on the block, they will kindly remove their vehicle so that we can park. And naturally, it's public parking. We're not saying we own this spot. But as a courtesy, if you have a business and you have 10 cars on the block, be kind enough to maybe move a couple of them so that some of the working people can come in. My issue is that cars are left here on Van Sicklin between Pickett and Glenmore. I just hope that this gets some more attention. I've been here since 2010, and there are other issues, but that's another video. And I don't know what kind of backlash I'm gonna get on this, but right is right. I'm not picking on anybody, but if the ruling is going to be what it is, it needs to be enforced. Otherwise, take the sign down. It's not an issue. Just take it down so that nobody else gets a ticket because Members of the 270, we're all working professionals, tax-paying residents, and we have a right to come home and be able to park our car. That's all I'm saying.